Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebene Zamakwe of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, uh, behind Zenith College. Uh, I'm capturing my thoughts on election and uh, all the brouhaha. So I'd like to capture today of my election uh, electoral brouhaha and call it Vox Populi Vox Day. That is the voice of the people sometimes can be the voice of God or the voice of the people, the voice of God. That's what um, uh, that Latin adage goes, vox populi, vox dei. Now, in First Samuel chapter 8, from verses 5 to 7, I see a very powerful story over them. Number one, I mean, the people of Israel, looking at the kings around them and looking at the kingdoms around them and how they were ruled by kings, decided they also want a king. So number one, the need for leadership by humanity is there. Humanity would always want somebody to lead the way. And that's how God also ordained it. Now, um, we will say there are three people who are always in leadership. It is either God, it is either man, or it is either the devil or something else. So um, humanity has always wanted a leader. Israel were in, in captivity until the leader appears. Israel were in the wilderness. They needed to go into the uh, Jordan River until a leader called Joshua appears. Israel was in bondage to the Midianites until a leader appears. In, uh, uh, Israel was in bondage to the Philistines until a leader called Samson appears. So all the time you'd always recognize that people want leaders. And in actual fact for us in, in Ghana, we are saddled by a lot of chieftaincy all over there. Our history is replete with uh, chieftaincy. And sometimes uh, they bring us issues that brings conflicts and all those things. But Israel wanted a leader. And uh, Samuel goes to God crying and says, Lord, listen, they have rejected me. They have rejected me. And then God made a statement that is so profound. And that, for me, it is uh, very interesting. Number one, the need for leadership. Humanity would always want a pathfinder. Humanity would always need a leader, somebody to lead. We lead in government, we lead at home, we lead in school, we lead in, in, in our offices, management, whatever it is, there's always the need for a leader. And you'll be surprised, even in the animal kingdom, there's always a leader. In the, in the kingdom of the ants, the queen ant, is the leader and uh, so it, it goes in a pack of wolves they have a leader in a, in a in a pack of lions they have the alpha male that is the the leader so leadership is something that is is a need for humanity now here the people said they wanted a leader and then god said to someone someone goes complaining and then god said give them a leader now it's it's very very interesting First of all, uh, the rejection of Samuel for um, somebody to else to lead. God said, listen, listen to them and give them a leader. So Vox Populi, Vox Dei, that is the voice of the people, can sometimes be the voice of God. So it is not wrong for us to cry for a leader. I mean, and we have uh, quite a plethora of political parties. Some, I, I must admit, I doubt whether they'll make any indentation, but you never know. I mean, political fields are minefields and slippery places, so you never know. But I think that we have a contest between two uh, main parties. And here's the thing. Bible covers every aspect of our lives. So the need for leadership is a need of humanity. The Bible cover, co covers it. And then Samuel went against the idea of a leader. And Samuel said, no, I am the leader. I must be. And someone said to God, they have rejected me. And then God said to someone, no, no, listen to them. And here's the thing. So we're going for elections and the choice is for a leader. I pray that God will give us his man. I pray that God will raise 
his person. I pray that one way or the other, God will give us a man. And the, the cry for uh, Ghana to have a leader is not, it's not a, a, a demonic cry. It is a need. Now, Samuel, the, second, uh, the third principle, the first one, need for a leader. Number two, it is, the, it is the mind of God to provide leadership. Number three, God spoke to, uh, Samuel said, they have rejected me. And therefore, he wanted to, 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 to uh, give problems. Listen. That's what we see right now in America. Some people have voted. Somebody says, I won. The other person too says, I won. And what it is is that there's rejection of, 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 uh, of votes. And people, somebody says, no, 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 I won. Somebody says, no, you didn't win. Always, always, always. Sometimes humanity, there are people that we place in positions of responsibility or there are people who aspire to be in places of responsibility. Can I tell you something? The seat is not yours. The seat is not yours. Someone went and said, Lord, you see, they have rejected me. God said, now you shut up. It's not about you. No one owns the seat. Aspiring or incumbent. You don't own the seat. The seat is not yours. And therefore, we need to understand that the voice of the people must speak. And that's the finality. The voice of the people must, 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 must rule. The voice of the people must be uh, above any other personal, uh, uh, personal choices of incumbent or aspiring. It, it, it's, it's above them. The voice of the people must speak. That is the choice. So the people's choice must be, uh, must be respected. And nobody must do anything, anything whatsoever to subvert the will of the people. Remember, Vox Populi, Vox Dei. See you later at the polls.